the secretive world of offshore tax havens is now a little less secret. Among the many names in the huge data leak from Panama is the late Ian Cameron, father of David Cameron. Today, the Prime Minister said his family has nothing to hide. I own no shares. I have a salary as Prime Minister uh, and I have some savings, uh, which I get some interest from, and I have a house which we used to live in, which we now let out while we're living in Downing Street, and that's all I have. The Prime Minister's comments come off the back of uncomfortable headlines, personally and politically, and the opposition is on the offensive. It wants full disclosure. Well, it's a private matter insofar as it's a privately held uh, interest, but it's not a private matter if tax has not been paid. And so an investigation must take place, independent investigation, unprejudiced to decide whether or not tax is owed or not. I think the Prime Minister, in his own interest, ought to tell us exactly what's been going on. It is not alleged that Ian Cameron broke any laws, but it is claimed he ran a fund for 30 years which avoided paying tax in the UK. Many British overseas territories are tax havens. The British Virgin Islands are the main player in the latest leak, but the Cayman Islands and Bermuda have also been in the spotlight. All three have the Union Jack on their flags. And as British overseas territories, all three are protected by the United Kingdom. So what can the UK government actually do? Campaigners say the PM could and should crack the whip. The legal system is connected to our legal system. The government is connected to our government. The Queen is their head of state. So there's a very intrinsic link between us and them. And there are many things that the government could do to force the issue and to open up these countries. It is an open question as to how far they're willing to go. The Prime Minister says they are forcing the issue and they are leading the campaign for more transparency. But he knows that's in danger of getting lost in the opaque world of tax havens and his very personal connection.